now on to the final uh, topic in this video matrix multiplication how do we multiply two matrices together how do we find the product of two matrix so given in this uh, example is a gen general matrix matrix a and multiply that matrix with matrix b for that let me show you here the size of matrix a so as you can see the row of this matrix a is m and the number of columns is p and for matrix b the number of row is p and the number of is n so that makes matrix a is a is an m by p matrix and b is p by n matrix now the reason i want to show you here is uh, these two number here must be the same for the product of these two matrix to be defined so for example yeah if you have a matrix uh, let's say three by four matrix and you want to multiply that with the matrix four by I don't know 20 you the pro you can find the product because these two numbers are the same it's a 3 by 4 matrix and you multiply it with 4 by 20 matrix and you will get the product however the product is not defined if for example you have a matrix uh, speaking number 2 by 5 matrix you want to multiply that with another 2 by 5 matrix okay uh, as you can see here the number here it's not the same one is five and one is two and the product of these two matrix will not be defined so in my case here uh, matrix a and b both have the same number here for a it has p columns and for b it has p rows okay moving on so the product this matrix A times B, uh, let's name the uh, matrix, the product matrix C, and let's uh, let's take this one as the, yep, let's put it here. Here we go. This one is good. Okay, and what we have here is a matrix it has M rows and M columns. So, Okay, so if you can find the two matrices A and B, where these two numbers are the same P and P, or whatever number it is, uh, the size of the product matrix is M times N. So this is what we have. Okay. Now, given that you have matrix A and matrix B, multiply them together A times B. You want to find the product which is matrix c how to find the elements of matrix c c11 c12 and so on and so forth c1 until um, you can fill up everything here the way you look at it is like this if you pick the ith row and multiply that row with the jth column So let me see I throw and multiply that with J column you will get the I the element at I J okay. Okay. so let me rewrite it here so the I throw of A multiply with J column of B you will get the element of uh, matrix C at I J okay just a quick revision on how to multiply a row matrix with a column matrix so for example, if we have a row matrix A, and we have a 
column matrix B. And so the question is, what is A times V? What is a row matrix here multiplied with a column matrix here? So in this case, it is simple. You take the answer is you multiply A1 with B1 and add A2 and B2, so on and so forth until a sub n a v n okay you can uh, if you use this uh, formula you can easily find every element of c so for example let's say you want to find the element c11 here so basically what you will do uh, you need uh, the first row and the first column the first row of matrix a the first row of matrix a this Multiply that with the first column. Number one of matrix B, you'll get C11. For example, if you want C, M, N here, another example, yeah. C, M, N, whatever M, N, N is. What you need to do is to find the M row from matrix A and multiply that with the nth row uh, nth column matrix B. and you'll find this we'll do some examples okay in this box right here i've uh, put the summary of what we've learned before so I'm going to show you with an example of what does it mean by i row of a times j column of b equals c i j so uh, let's uh, uh, do an example uh, uh, so that you can see what does it mean by this so let's say matrix a is given as uh, 1 3 2 minus 1 and matrix B uh, is 2, 0, minus 4, uh, 5, minus 6. Okay, so the question is now find the product of matrix A, B. Uh, the way you want to check uh, whether the product exists or not is to check the size of the matrix. So matrix A is is a 2 by 2 matrix and matrix B is a 2 by 3 matrix so remember the M times B P times N before so if you look at this number here 2 and 2 so that means the product of A B is defined now let me ask you now is the product B times A defined well, that's for you to answer now let's do this example to do this, let's um, for easier referencing, let's rewrite the matrix, the matrices down here. So you can see that you know that this is a two by two matrix and this is a two by three matrix. Okay, you can find the product because these two numbers are the same. So what about the size of the uh, product of the, the multiplication of these two matrices? It's also notice. It's also 2 by 3 okay so let's uh, just I don't know maybe uh, uh, do a boxes here okay so this boxes indicates that it's element 1 1 element 1 2 element 1 3 element 2 1 okay all right it's very crude right now but it's gonna be beautiful when we got numbers in there okay so let's find element one one so according to this uh, rule that we've uh, written before to find the element of one one we need to find the one uh, row number one of a multiply that with column one of b so in this case column one of a uh, sorry row one of a is one three and 
column 1 of p is 2 5 so let's do that 1 times 2 is 2 3 times 5 is 15 so add them up 2 3. so we've got 17 so let's write this down 17 here okay now let's say you want to find uh, secondly you want to find Secondly, you want to find this element 1 2 so according again according to the rule that we have before if you want to find C 1 2 element 1 2 you need to take the one row uh, row number 1 of A and row number 2 of B so row number of A is here and row number 2 of B is here so 1 times 0 is 0 3 times 2 is minus 2 is minus 6 so all we have there is minus 6 minus 6 so you can do the rest and let me uh, write down the answer here so that's the answer of the product of matrix A and matrix B you can check your calculation and then you can check this answer that I've given you here and check if, if you, your calculation is correct.